Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I have two cards to share with you from Spellbinder's Falling Leaves Collection. They feature the Autumn Rain Better Press Plate with the Coordinating Stencil Set. These unique and pretty cards are finished off with a wax seal falling raindrops. And that's exactly where we'll get started with the wax seals using Spellbinder's Wax Seal Starter Kit. My first seal is going to be done with pistachio wax. Oh my goodness, it has been a while since I've made wax seals. And so when I picked up the seal, I wasn't very happy with the outcome. So making wax seals is pretty forgiving. I just tore up the seal, placed it back in the warming spoon onto the warmer and remelted it. And I'm just giving it a stir with a piece of wooden skewer. I find that it is important that you have the right consistency. You want the wax to be fairly liquid so that it pours nicely and smoothly, but not too hot that you're going to create bubbles. You can check the consistency by just using the skewer again and seeing if I get any resistance. It's good to go, so I'm going to pour it into an oval shape because my seal is oval. The seal is centered over the puddle of wax and just set down. It's important not to press it. And I always melt a little bit more wax than what I'll need, and so I've poured the excess off, and I'll add that back into my wax beads. While the spoon is still warm, I give it a wipe with some paper towel to remove the residue. And I'm just waiting for my wax to harden before I remove the seal. And so I'm going to start melting my wax for my second seal. This is a pretty mixture called coral. And I'm selecting so that I get a mixture of all three colors that are included in the mix. The wax is set. I can pop off the seal and I'm happier with this result. I don't want all of the colors to be blended together in this mixture, so I'm going to take the wooden skewer and just swirl it around. The wax feels nice and liquid, so I'll pour it into an oval and then set the seal in the center of it. And after the wax is set, I can lift up my seal and look how pretty this is. Now on to the panel created using the Autumn Rain Press Plate and the Better Press System. For both panels, I'll be working with A2 size porcelain better press paper. And I've rolled up tape and placed it on the back of the panel because the press plate will go edge to edge. This is a negative design, meaning that you will be pressing the background, not the images. I'll be taking you through just one of the cards. This one is going to have a black background. I'm using the full size Better Press Black Ink Pad. When applying the ink to a large surface area, I like to first swipe it on and then go back and re-ink it by tapping and giving it a slight twist at the end. All right then, I'll pop my plate in on and roll it through the die cutter. And my background has a little bit of inconsistency, so I'm going to re-ink the plate and run it through the die cutter a second time. Again, I start by swiping on the ink and then going back and doing a little bit of a pounce and twist motion. The ink that you've applied to the plate shows any kind of variation or inconsistency that is going to show up when you press it. I always try to look to see if I've got a nice even tone before running it through the die cutter. And though I wasn't successful at noting those differences during the first inking, the second one will take care of that. The Better Press ink is not water soluble, so you will need a stamp cleaner to remove the excess ink from the plate. I'm using Ranger's Archival Ink Stamp Cleaner. Some ink colors will clean up completely and others will not, and black is one of them. The plate will be stained. However, 
It is not a problem because it will not transfer on to future projects. As a testament to this, I did letter press my second panel after this one. For that one, I used a combination of teal topaz, cruise, and cosmic sky. Create that ink blended look. The colors were overlapped with one another. I'll be using the coordinating stencil set to color the panels. The panel is sitting on a sticky mat and I'll be applying fresh dye inks with small blending brushes. First stencil will color in the shaft of the umbrellas. I'm going to be using evening gray. Stencil two will color in the alternating panels on the umbrella tops. To create depth, I'll be applying two tones to each of these sections. I'm starting at the base with a very deep purplish red called berry mocha. When my lighter tone heartbeat is applied to the tip of this section, I overlap it with the dark tone to get a blend. For the second section of panels, I'll start off with Coral Bliss. Working in the same tone family, I like to continue with the same blending brush and I just wipe off the excess ink onto some cardstock. Fresh dye inks are water soluble, so their drying time is a little bit longer, which allows me to apply all of my dark ink first before continuing with my lighter tone. I'm applying Pink Pearl, and like the other panels, I overlap it with the darker tone so that I get a blend between the two. Stencil 4 will color in the leaves and again I'm going to use two different colors of ink. I've started off with a light tone called mint chocolate and now I'm applying a bluish green called pool. The final stencil will color in the little tops to each of the umbrellas and for this I'll go back to the evening gray. And there's my dark and dramatic panel completed. If you're interested in the ink colors that I use for my lighter panel, those will be listed on my blog at bonniecarolee.com. Sentiments for both cards are from August's small die of the month. The shadow die was used to cut coral cardstock and I'm adding a little bit of heartbeat to the bottom to give it a blended look. And while that ink is drying, I'm going to add some double-sided tape to my ribbon. After the double-sided tape is removed, it'll be added to the panel, wrapping the ribbon around to the back of it. Using liquid adhesive, the panel is adhered to an A2 size black card base. The shadow for the sentiment is adhered to the black foam die cut, and then the gold script de-hugs adhered to that. A wax seal adhesive circle will be used to mount the seal over top of the ribbon. And then this card is finished up with the sentiment attached also to the ribbon. And that completes this project using products from Spellbinder's Falling Leaves collection. I love the negative design of the Autumn Rain press plate and having a coordinating stencil set makes the coloring super fast and easy. And who could resist that wax seal falling raindrops? It is so sweet. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, I appreciate your visit.